So we're checking here the new Amazon AWS ARM server here with SmugMug. And hi, so who are you? Hi, so I'm Shane Myers. I'm a principal operations engineer with SmugMug. And I'm here to talk about the Amazon A1 instance. So you're using the ARM server on the Amazon AWS? It, we are. And, uh, and SmugMug is famous for photo? So we're a premium photo hosting company. We're the safe, beautiful home for yeah. all of your photos. Yeah. And um, so we're using A1 instances for scale out workloads, such as serving photos out to customers and gonna, over time, uh, start migrating other So you've customers. been using AWS for a long time? Yeah, we were one of the first customers of, of S3. And um, it's been great. It's like S3 is amazing. S3 is amazing. It's, it's like magic or something. Like, uh, what is the ninety percent of the internet using or something? How much it, of the internet is AWS? I've the rumors I've heard is about a third of the internet overall is, a, is AWS. Oh. Um, we've been a customer for a long time, and we use probably about well over half the, number of the services that Amazon offers. And they continue pr turning out, you know, great things all the time. And so. enable your business, right? Absolutely. Because uh, have you ever had your own servers? Also, we did. We had uh, data centers, uh, multiple uh, data centers, including our own uh, stacks of spinning disks and all that kind of stuff to ho host our photos. But over time, we moved all these workloads into AWS because it was a cost savings. It wasn't our core competency maintaining data centers. Instead, by using AWS, we're able to leverage. The, the power of the cloud and uh, be able to really focus on our core composite of serving beautiful photos to our customers. So I've been doing ARM server videos for eight years, or maybe nine, I don't know, it's a long yeah. time. And uh, it's very exciting to see Amazon, they do their own chip. They do. And it goes over there, everybody can just buy instances right now. That's correct. And you are just experimenting or are you buying lots? We're buying some, we're not buying a lot, but- uh, Some. Some, and as, as we are able to have time to Work, move workloads onto ARM instances, uh, we will. It is a cost savings for us. Uh, You're already the, seeing results? Some you results, see, yeah. For some some applications, it's perfect. Yeah, it absolutely. Is? Yes. Yeah. Um, we use a lot of C5 instances, and ARM instances and the C5s, for a price comparison, for the same memory and core count, is uh, about 40% cheaper with uh, ARM instances. And is exactly the kind of stuff that's good for SmugMug? It is, because we're a, we're a PHP shop, uh, we're scale out workloads so as we need to add capacity for additional traffic for you know during daytime to nighttime. We scale up, scale out. We just add cores by adding adding more instances. So is this how it looks like? So this is our SpugMug app. Uh, these are various hero photos, and uh, some of these some of these images are being served over the A1 instances uh, to here. So um, what part of this goes on the A1? So the actual serving the photos out to the customer. So, like the web hosting kind of thing. Yeah, the web hosting, the, the photo serving portion of it. The, we are we are broken up into multiple what we call tiers of servers. So there's the photo serving ones, the web web servers that serve HTML, and right now it's the photo serving that's being done with A1. Is it easy for you to combine uh, the ARM stuff and the other stuff? So some of it does this and the other does that, and it storage is. somewhere else maybe or. Yeah, well, it's kind of a microservice architecture. So we were able to take this one microservice, the photo serving, and move it to A1 with, with relatively um, little pain. Just click something and it works? Or did, what did you recompile something? So for us, it was a little bit of a, a jump because the A1 instances work with Ubuntu Bionic uh, 18.04 and later, and we're still on Trusty for some of our applications, which is 14.04. So f most of my work was actually at, was an OS upgrade, getting our stuff migrated up to the new operating system. Oh. We do run our own custom PHP build, so I had to recompile that on, on ARM, but that was pretty simple. It's already scripted, just basically we rerun it and we were done. But all of our PHP, Python, Perl, et cetera, that runs the site, or runs other uh, behind the scenes uh, infrastructure, just works. So upgrading the stuff for the latest version of the OS is yeah. good to do anyways, right? It is good to do anyway. It is it's not just for the ARM. No, we're, it's, we're still in the support window for Trusty, so that we had, it hadn't been a huge priority, but it is one of those things that as we go, we are upgrading. Uh, and uh, so how smooth is this? What are you showing here? So what I'm showing here, I, I don't have... Yeah. Can you come a little bit closer to the mic? Yeah, yeah. yeah. the full demo's not, not really working right now, just due to glitches but that I'm working through. But essentially, I'm able to launch EC2 instances. This is the review launch screen. And so I can pick an A1 instance type, 
It's got two uh, CPUs, four uh, gigabytes of RAM, and be able to launch the instance and have things just work. And it says up to 10 gigabit, um, and you can choose how many you want of these and how much of that, or? It was based on the Amazon's, how they lay these out. So the A1 large instance has two CPU cores and four gigs of RAM. The A1 extra large has uh, four CPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM. They basically go on blocks. Um, so you were at the Amazon AWS launch event? I was. And what were you talking about? So just what you just said? Pretty much, yeah. So yeah. I was part of the, the breakout session for the, uh, for the A1 instances, the ARM instances. And so I talked about how my you know, difficulties and lack there, and really, of upgrading the, to use uh, the A1 instances, it's mostly like an, the operating system upgrade. The hardware and ARM aspect of it is actually very simple. So it's pretty seamless. And who else was there on the, on the panel with you? Was there some other companies too? No, at, for that session it was just myself and Amazon, two other gentlemen from Amazon. But uh, have you heard stories, or do you, you don't have to say maybe if it's secret, but have you heard stories of other companies embracing this and it just works for them? I, I haven't talked to too many other companies about this. It's still, it's still, it's still, still new to the industry. A lot of people are yeah. kind of gun shy about trying out new things like ARM. It's pretty much last month or two months ago or something. It is. Right? but. Like, it, but in some respects, you know, it takes months to years to still roll things out. And a lot of people are comfortable or have workloads that they just don't understand enough to, to give it a shot at. So this is 40% cheaper, better than uh, Intel for something specific, not for everything, right? Not for everything. It is, I am a strong proponent in use the right tool for the job. So we also use a lot of GPUs for image processing. As are from NVIDIA, we use the P2 instances for those. And so we use those for, we use GPUs for the image jobs, we use ARM instances for some of the web loads, and you know, just use the right tool for the job is what I advocate. Did AWS say uh, if it's uh, 28 nanometer or 14 or what it is? I they didn't know. say, right? They didn't say. But it's probably not the fastest one. It could They could make a faster one, that's why it's called the A1. Yeah, I think, I, I suspect, like, I mean, we saw with the M1 10 years ago, over time it grew to the M2 and M4, and like, we've now got 100, 145 different instance types available. I would imagine the A1s would grow over time as well. Or sorry, the ARM instances would grow over time as well. So it's fun, it's exciting to work with this? It is. Trying yeah, to save some save some money, right? Yeah. Try to optimize things. Absolutely, it's great to optimize things, it's great to save money, you know. That's, money saved is, you were able to reinvest in other areas instead of just spending on an infrastructure. Well, potentially making the service cheaper. Yeah. Potentially. Yeah, and then we can you know, reinvest where needed to make the best services possible for our customers. 